Yeah, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to my first official NBA 2K23 video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We ain't talking about wish lists. We talking about leaks, news, ideas, more leaks, more news. Listen, first and foremost, hit the like button. It's free. It's free. To hit the like button is literally free. And... Help me put my kids through school. So please <laughs> hit the like button. But let's get right into it. Listen, listen, listen. I don't know if y'all know, but I got an iPhone, right? And for some reason, Google likes to send me weird information, weird news articles all the time. And I guess since it's NBA 2K news season, you know, we in June. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, why am I getting articles about 2K23 badges, so I, I, I clicked right on that joint. I'm like, oh, let me let me see what let me see what they talking about. And you wouldn't believe what I found out. They got somebody out here in these streets promoting new personality badges that don't do a goddamn thing besides be visual placebo for NBA 2K23. Now I know. Now I know what y'all thinking. I probably get them. Oh, I'm gonna get them. Let's hop into the video. I told you guys in the beginning of this video, I stumbled upon this NBA 2K23 badge list from Google. Google recommended that I see this post immediately. And I'm just going to say that's a big W, but this badge list is a L. And I'm going to tell you guys why. In NBA 2K17, they implemented online park personality badges. Now, technically, they didn't call them personality badges it was more so oh for nba 2k17 we got park badges now you have to do certain things in order to earn these badges and then for three years we didn't see them until nba 2k20 and then nba 2k20 had park badges but with these badges they had action and people actually wanted to earn these badges simply because they gave your player a little bit more boost online so we're going to talk about all the badges on the list that we have here as you guys can see it says could this be the next evolution of nba 2k23 badges and also i know i'm talking pretty fast so i'm gonna slow it down I got this from NBA2KW.com. I believe that's the website that they took me to. And I read the whole list before I made this video. So, you know, when I talk about it, I'm going to be talking pretty fast. So you might want to put me on 0.5 speed because I'm going to be talking all crazy because you know where I'm from, Chester. Um, But look, I feel as though 2K should focus on a different direction as far as badges go. You guys already seen my wish list video and thank you to all those people who've seen it. But let's go over this list right here. If you notice, it says first we had signature skills, then skill badges, personality badges, and park badges. They're saying could the next stage of an evolution of 2K badges be online dynamic play style badges. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys. The park badges from 2K17, they were earned badges for completing certain things like beating a team on a streak and stuff like that. But for NBA 2K20, if you were like a hard screen setter and you had like Hall of Fame brick wall and stuff like that, they gave you another badge in order to help you to knock people in their behind. Those real, real hard dog screens. So for them to say play style badges, it's more centered around all of the trolling, all of the things that actually bring the community down and make people not want to play the game. It's like they want to throw it in your face. And I'm going to tell you what I'm talking about. So they have how it will work and everything like that. They're saying that they can make it placebo where it's just a badge that pops up when you're picking your teammates. This is how your teammates play. Maybe they have the ball hog badge. Maybe they have the, the, the uh, spam badge. Maybe they have the cell badge, and I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Y'all know cell squad, you know what I mean? Don't make me grab my cell squad merch, you know what I mean? But that, that cell badge is kind of hilarious. But look, I'm gonna tell y'all why. Now, 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 honestly, make sure y'all go check out uh Brutal Sim video, you know what I'm saying? 
I watched this drone way like right before I made mine. I was like, I was like, you know what? Let me skim through and make sure I didn't miss anything to talk about because he broke it down dope in his video as well. Now, like like I said, the guy here in this article who who've ever wrote it because honestly, I don't see any like you know tagline like written by, but it is uploaded to this site, so I'm guessing the owner of this site is the person who wrote it. Hopefully. But it says badges could be displayed on each my player's banner or their 2K player card. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. When playing 2K, the only time that you see another player's badges, in all honesty, is either when you hop off the spot and you check their badges because you, you might have lost or something like that. Or before you get on, you might see their names going across the screen. You're like, man, let me see if these dudes is, is hardcore. And that's when people pull out their phones and check their badges. So if 2K would implement showing all this pre-badge, you know what I mean, stuff on screen, honestly, it would take away from everything we already constantly look at. When you load into an NBA 2K22 match right now, you get the player's win percentage, you get their play style, you get their build, you get their um, offensive uh, overall, you get their baller rating. It's like so many things on screen. It's like you get how much points, steals, assists, block, rebound. Like you get all this information thrown at you right now. And I feel like if you add badges to that, we would have to wait for a game like the load for like 30 seconds we need that we would be on the spot wait for our game and as we're walking up to our players it'll be like 30 to 40 seconds of all this information you have to download for the, your opponent it's like okay scouting report a plus oh my god he, he has the hall of fame baller oh my god uh he's 77 one percent oh my god he has the ball hog badge oh my god he has the spam badge oh my god you know what i mean it's like you would have to just taking all this info and it's like for what and it for what now i can understand in a comp setting i know that this would be amazing this would be something that a lot of people would use because they would you know what i mean play some of the same people you know five six times a day because in annie up and you know what i mean and at the stage these guys there's only a, a small few of players that are like elite players that are constantly playing each other so I know that they would use that information, but for us regular degular, just going out there and just balling, we not really worried about all that. You know what I mean? And I'm going to be honest with you. I feel like if 2K would have put these badges I'm about to list in a game, I might not play because I wouldn't want to earn some of these badges because I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of these badges are on a lower end scale of play style. They're not like elite stat, like too many elite status badges. And we can go ahead and go through the list. So first off, you guys already see the airball badge, like straight off the rip. And now I don't, I'm not sure if he did this in alphabetical order. I'm pretty sure he did. But for the first badge you show, it's been an airball badge. That's messed up, man. That's, that's messed up. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you get the airball badge, if you ever earn that out of any season you play on 2K, we have to have a very, very long talk about who you are. Now, if you're seven, six, maybe, you know, eight years old, I get it. But if I see any high schoolers, 22, 30, 40, all the old heads making slashers, 50, 60, if I see y'all with an airball badge, we gotta have a long talk. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep it all the way true. We gotta have a talk. The next badge is the ball hall badge. Now, this is a badge that you get if you never pass. Honestly, if somebody's playing five out, they're going to get that badge all the time. Now, being having the ball hog badge doesn't necessarily mean that you are an elite player. It just means that, oh, okay, this guy will have the ball for 23 seconds of the shot clock at any given time of the game. So that's one person that we got to make sure we guard. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's not really, it's not really pulling me in you feel what i'm saying the next one brick badge consistently shooting 30 percent or less not gonna lie pretty dope badge i understand it 30 percent is not really that good but honestly i would i would say shoot 25 or less because 30 percent shooters uh, Make it a little bit lower. You know what I'm saying? If you want them to have a brick, make it a little bit lower. 30%, 30% is 
I mean, they could shoot one season, they could shoot 70, one, the next season, they could shoot 60. Next season after that, they could shoot 80. Then for one season, they shoot 30, get the badge, and then they like, oh, or it'll be troll people that really just want the brick badge, and that's what I'm talking about. It's the troll essence of the 2K community right now. The community, I'm not saying, is in a bad spot whatsoever. I love the 2K community. I love the players in it. I love the memes in it. I love the videos in it, content, tutorials, all of that. But I know for sure there will be that one person that says, yo, for a season, bro, I'm shooting another 30%. Yo, how you going to do that? I'm going to just hold the button. Every time I, I'm going to just hold the button. I'm going to hit whatever level they got for 2K23. Yo, I'm going to hit the level and then I'm just going to hold the button. And then they're going to shoot 30%, get the badge and then use it. And just and just throw everybody with terrible badges like they'll have the airball badge, the brick badge, you know what I'm saying? The ball hog badge. And somebody sees that, they see ball hog, airball, brick, all in a row. They like, oh yeah, we finna kill these dudes. And get dropped off because Bull just trolled y'all. He just got the badges one season because he ain't really cared. He already hit his level, already got all his rewards, and he decided to get all the badges and troll people for the next six seasons. You feel what I'm saying? It's 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 counterproductive. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? Buddy baller badge. Only pass the players in your squad. I get what he's saying. If you go into the wreck with three and you got a random in the AI. Please take the AI bots out. You watch my wish list and you only pass it to your squad mates and you don't pass it to the lonely uh, one guy that just came in by himself. I can understand you getting that badge. But like I said, it's counterproductive because that just means that these guys play more team basketball than playing with randoms. That's all that it's showing. You know what I mean? Now, also. Little disclaimer, I will break down what these badges could possibly do. As far as dealing with your attributes, your tendencies, and other badges and, and, and negative effects and positive effects. We'll talk about that after we go through the whole list, all right? Cone badge. Funny ass badge. Not going to lie. Funny as hell. I see plenty of people sitting in the corner all the time. That's just the way you got to play 2K sometimes. So I know a lot of people's going to get that corner badge. Your, the shooting guard is going to get it. If he's not at the hash, your small forward definitely going to get it. Your power forward definitely going to get it. If you're running five out and without screens, your center is going to get it. So basically everybody on the team besides the point guard may have the cone badge. Yeah. Uh, dish the rock badge. Consistently find an open man, get assists, low turnovers. Dish the rock badge honestly isn't really doing it for me. And it's not that it's the name. It's the simple fact that if you can find an open man, get assists and have low turnovers that's honestly performance badges that's that's what i feel like the signature badges that we have now if you're getting stuff like that that's because of the badges that you have you'll have needle threader you'll have bullet passer um you'll be playing on your uh openness as far as your pass uh settings and stuff like that all of that stuff is just getting dots you know what i mean and getting low turnovers honestly if you get 10 assists maybe two turnovers and you score 40 does that qualify you for having to dish the rock badges you know what i mean like it's not it's not really doing it for me you know what i mean now dunk machine badge consistently get contact dunks this badge shouldn't even be in the game honestly i'm gonna be real with you for nba 2k22 the dunk meter stopped contact dunks and i'm gonna tell you why it's a tutorial on when people should jump at the ball and as long as that is in the game you won't see a consistency of contact dunks even i have a 99 overall dunk rating a 80 vertical like 83 85 speed and acceleration on one of my like my two-way finisher he don't get contact dunks like that yeah he be dunking on folks but he don't get contact animations the ones that they gave us you know what I'm saying? i don't put my nuts on nobody here you feel what i'm saying like i just get some oh a crazy lebron joining he happened to jump and i just you feel me? It's not really like falling on the floor with somebody stepping over them, spitting on them while they down. It's not none of that. So that badge really won't work. High IQ badge. Oh, this will probably be the badge that every comp player wants. Good shot selection, good court vision, etc. What's the etc? Because if you're going to give out a badge, you need to lay down a law on everything you need to get that badge. Does it say you have to average two, maybe three turnovers or less during a whole season. 
Do you have to have a 70 plus shooting percentage? Do you have to have a 75 plus win percentage? What's the high IQ badge? What is that all about? You know what I mean? That's why I say some of these badges not really doing it for me. ISO guy badge. Make positive plays for yourself and team out of isolation. So obviously, you'll have the ISO guard badge, you'll have the ball hog badge, and you'll probably have what? What is the what is the last one? Probably dish the rock. <laughs> you'll have all those badges together because you got ISO God badge and you're basically playing out of isolation the whole time. You know what I mean? So it's like getting one of these badges should be a, a major feat. But I feel like it's so many of them on this list that you'll get four of them for doing one thing. If that makes sense to you, you'll, you'll just eventually get all of them. You know what I mean? And you'll have just all that placebo. Limited brain badge, make low IQ plays, poor or shot selection, no court vision, etc. So basically, that is the negative effect to high IQ badge. You'll get the limited brain badge. Now, I know what they tried to do here, try to make it a little bit more funny. Limited, limited brain, yeah, I ain't got no IQ. I get it, but it won't do anything because, like I said, people control here, get this badge, put those badges stacked because, of course. 2K wouldn't make a badge without you being able to unequip it and equip it and put it on your list. Like, be, because what if they only had three badges that they showed of the playstyle badges over your player? You only get to choose three. People will troll. They'll troll and just put all the trash badges on and kill everybody because everybody thinks it's easy games. You know what I mean? Um, paint clogger badge. Multiple three second in the key calls. Camp in the paint 90% of possessions. Now, I know what this is for. This is for people that sit at the park, that sit in the paint all day, going up against bigs that can't shoot. That's rarely, though. But that's basically just what it is. You know what I mean? You clog the paint. You're playing. You know what I mean? Help defense all over the place. You're just standing in the paint. I get it. You know what I'm saying? Paint clogger. I get it. Um, rage quitter badge. Rage quit for 50 games. This is the first badge that I noticed made actual sense because it seemed like it's spawning from 2K17 and 2K20 badges. You actually have to do something in order to get this badge. Now, I'm not talking about shooting percentage and all of that. If you rage quit 50 games, you get that badge. That means if you close app, if you quit the menu, all of that means rage quitting. I can I can stand behind that one badge. But again, it's just placebo. Somebody could quit 50 games in a day, have that badge in there. People be like, oh, I'm going to get a rage quitter and kill him. <laughs> Sell badge. Funny badge. What's up to the Cell Squad homies? Get a D or an F grade for 50 games. You can get the Cell badge and the Rage Quitter badge at the same time. Right? Because if you quit a game, you're Grade essentially is an F. So you could quit 50 games and get the cell badge and the rage quitter badge at the same time. That's what I'm talking about. You can do one thing and get multiple of these badges and they really don't mean much. You know what I mean? All right, now, Snag King. Get a lot of rebounds and hustle plays. How many? Moving on. Spammer badge, consistently spam buttons, steal, screen, dribble animations, etc. No. We already know what spam means. Spam means somebody spamming a steal button to get pass lane steals. Spammer bash should only be for steals. It shouldn't be for dribble animations. If you wanted to make a, a dribble animation badge, that's what the ISO guide is for, right? Maybe you say if you chain a certain amount of dribble animations together, as like and, and how many times you do that, you get that badge, that's cool. Setting screens, why would you put spammer as that? Maybe you give them, I'm not going to give you no ideas. Nope, not go, you ain't paying me. Oh, you almost got me. Um, splash badge, shoot over 60% from the perimeter. Shooting 60%, I would have to say, is not hard. If you're running R1, L1, and, you know, guards are just going down court shooting fast break threes, that's not hard at all. But 60% is a pretty good number, pretty good number. Sweat badge, consistently have 80% when... 80% uh, or better win percentage consistently, right? Is that throughout the season? Is that throughout the whole 2K? Do you lose that sweat badge the moment you drop from your 80% and you got to fight back to go get it? Mm. Tenacious D. Um, get excellent defensive stats and accolades. 
Triple double machine. Get 50 triple doubles. I actually like that. I actually like that. And I think that Biggs can easily get that because of R1L1 being able to score just 10 easy points in a paint. That, that's an easy bit badge for Biggs. But again, placebo. Um, walking bucket. Have a field goal percentage of over 70%. That's actually a good name for the badge. But man, some of these, uh, these design styles hilarious <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to y'all this is super hilarious man how or if play style badges would affect gameplay or your my player could be decided also the effect could be non-existent and you just have it be an indicator for someone's play style or it could have give slightly boosts or um deficits to attributes or to skill badges depending on a badge now that's what i mean the only way to make sure people do not try to get these badges by trolling is to make them say, you can't do that if you get these badges. If you get these badges, your mismatch might stop working for a little bit. Your blinders might stop working for a little bit. So that's the only way for you guys to counteract these people from getting these troll badges is if you do that now like i was saying if you want to give people play style badges for the online experience you definitely will want to go with nba 2k20's uh actual like way that they did it like with iron wall screen crusher nothing easy gym rat uh takeover booster like you want those badges to give and take that's what you want the only evolution that can come from online badges is that you now give people badges that negatively affect them or make them negatively affect the other player for instance we all know perks had just came out if anybody noticed your takeover perks a lot of people don't use the negative ones everybody uses accelerator because everybody wants their takeover but there are those dogs out there that love putting those other badges on to give them negative effects when they have their takeover. A lot of people don't need accelerator. A lot of people like, yo, if, as long as I get my lock badge and I, and I got uh, my ski mask on, I'm in everybody's pocket. So the only way to make NBA 2K23 badges for online play better is to give them negatively affected online badges that will help them negatively affect their opponent or give them badges that will positively affect their offensive play. That's the only way to keep the balance. Give them badges that can help them on defense. Give them badges that can help them on offense. It's a clean slate. Don't just give people personality badges to build up the community to make the trolls come out the woodwork and be like, ooh, the spam badge. I want that. Nah. nah. Make give give it to players who actually are grinding the game. You know what I mean? Because back in 2K17, they're like they had badges like if you beat a team that was on a high streak, you would get the street killer badge and stuff like that. I don't know if it's street killer. Let me let me let me check real quick. Um actually it is the streak breaker badge. So for me, you want to actually just tell people, hey, if you do this quest or whatever the case may be, you'll get this badge. And this is what this badge would do. This is what this badge will affect. It will affect uh, attributes. It will affect takeovers. It will t uh, affect signature takeovers. Um, this badge over here will give you plus three in this category. This will give you a plus two in this. You know what I mean? Like that's the information that we want to know. So again, if these badges are NBA 2K23, I don't want to play because I'm going to be scared. I don't want, I don't want the sell badge right i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure that you guys hit that like button i know that you guys been missing me here on youtube man i've been streaming full time on facebook gaming i also been streaming on twitch but i'm telling you guys right now man i'm back on youtube i'm here to stay and i appreciate all the love man and i'm gonna see you guys in the next video peace